Anna Kittleson, GAP's manager of Adaptive Golf, defended her GAP women's title after carting a 5 over par 75 to win the third BMW GAP Women's Championship at a blustery Overbrook Golf Club Monday. I think I probably think about it a little more than most people, specifically because I work in the GAP office. So, and then of course I have the GAP trophy sitting on my desk. So every couple weeks leading into it, people are like, oh, did you sign up yet? Like, I feel like there's always talk about it in the office. So I, I think about it often. I was super nervous today because I, like, I feel like there's a lot more pressure. Like not only am I defending, but I, I work in the GAP office. So I know tomorrow what I do out here is gonna get talked about maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Um, so it's nerve wracking knowing that like you have so many people watching scores and uh, it took me a couple holes there to relax and be like, okay, at the end of the day, it's just golf. Like whether you play good or you play bad, like the office is gonna talk no matter what. So might as well just have fun while we're out here. Despite difficult playing conditions, which featured winds upwards of 25 miles per hour, Kittleson remained solid. She carded birdies on numbers 4, 5, 12, and 13. Even though it was not fun playing in this wind, this wind was miserable, I think the wind kind of lowered expectations. Uh, when you come out in wind that this is this strong, the par automatically goes up. So we're usually the course is a par 70. We were talking on the first tee, par is probably 75, 76 today. So I think lowering my expectations uh, just because of the weather. Her performance even surprised herself. I'm not super good in the wind. I hit the ball pretty high usually, so wind is usually not my friend. Um, that's again where I'll give big credit to my caddy, like just picking good target lines and staying true to those target lines and just accepting that the wind is gonna take your ball in the direction that you hope it comes from. Um, these past couple weeks I've been playing good golf, so I knew I, knew I had it in me but I, I didn't honestly expect to play this well today in this weather. I felt like I had my putter rolling good um, coming into today. Uh, I was striking the ball while my driver is not my friend, <laughs> um, but I knew that coming in. So I knew if we could battle that and get a few shots close, it'd be a good day. Capturing the event's middle amateur division is GAP Executive Committee Officer Megan Adams. The association secretary carded an 11 over par 81 to top her flight. Staying present in each shot with encouragement from her caddy allowed her to hoist the hardware. Get through it all. Well, I, I knew it was super windy out and quite frankly on the driving range I was not hitting it well. Um, and I was fortunate enough to have um, my dear friend Billy Rube on the bag and he basically just try to keep me in it and just said, you know, it's okay to make a bogey. Just, just try to make it up and down as much as you can. He's like, you have a great short game. You're a good putter. So I really just tried to stay within myself today, knowing that I wasn't playing well, but thinking that I could get it up and down from any, anywhere. Rivercrest Golf Club and Preserve's Susie Spottleson won the senior division with a card of five over par 75. Birdies on 12 and 14, with pars thereafter, did the trick. The front nine was uh, a couple loose swings out there. I thought the front was where I could have taken advantage of the weather. Um, did not. Um, so bared down on the back and really kind of locked my swing in a little bit. Um, got a couple birdies on the back. Uh, and I think I played the back in even par. So uh, was able to hold steady from that lousy front nine. For GAP TV, John T. Iswalt.